So the question is, how do we deal with uh, rolling shutter issues with After Effects? As you can see here, I have a shot that I took with my cell phone. And uh, not only that it's underlit, but you can see how the image skews right here. You can see how the image skews and I don't get straight lines. Um, and also the problem is that uh, with a cell phone or any kind of uh, CMOS chip that has a problem with the rolling shutter, you can see it basically distorts the image. Um, it causes this kind of a wobbly effect. So the way to deal with this is to go to the effects and of course you need to make sure that the image is, uh, the footage is highlighted, effects, and I go under distort and there is a rolling shutter repair. Now I am working with After Effects uh, Creative Cloud 2015. So with the rolling shutter repair, if I go now to the effects control that I have here, you can see that the rolling shutter repair has a few controls. One of them is how much the rate should be. And by default, it sends on 50%. And what is the scan direction from top to bottom? Um, if I'm not mistaken with uh, smartphones, you can you need to choose basically bottom to top. And as you can see, it's already fixed that issue as you, you can see before and after, before and after. All you have to do is choose the right method. I usually leave it on warp because um, most CMOS chips and image sensors do warp the image. And then what I do is I just try to find a middle ground with the rolling shutter rate. Um, in this case, I think I need to increase a bit the rolling shutter rate right over the hair. Um, and then what I need to do is just take this footage and render this into a new proxy footage, which I can take later on to other software if I need. So this is a quick fix of the rolling shutter repair effect in After Effects.